The sport of rugby sevens is now an Olympic sport and each year international teams from all over the world take part in the IRB World Series. Every four years the IRB Rugby World Cup takes place with the Melrose Cup being the trophy awarded to the winners. In 2022 the Melrose Sevens returned after a two-year break due to the pandemic. Gone was the old grass pitch to be replaced by a new 3G surface and floodlights. It was a new beginning for the tournament and we were there to capture the flavour of it, talking with key people involved with the organising of the event, world-class players about what it means to them to play in the Melrose Sevens and also delving back into the history of the event. I think you'd be amazed to see that it's now an Olympic sport and us all over the world. Obviously, probably Fiji is the biggest, I think it's their national sport, is seven. So um, from what he started back then to what it is now, it's it's pretty amazing. He was obviously born and bred Jellert man, um, butcher, and then ended up in Melrose uh, somehow and obviously got affiliated with the rugby club. So his idea was to take it to seven aside and obviously Melrose won the first one, um, but I think there was more controversy with the Galleons because they uh, it went to extra time and Melrose scored an extra time after 10 minutes or something, but uh, they didn't kick the conversion and the Galleons were, were adamant they had, to, they had to kick the conversion for it to complete the game. So I think it ended in controversy in the end, um, but these are just legendary stories and whether they're, they're factually correct, it's, a, it's been that, a long distance of time. 